welcome back to the 8th Spot Podcast. I'm Wilson. I'm Jay. I'm Eric. I'm Mark. Okay. <laughs> what was that? It was a squeaky voice somewhere in the distance? Our sound guy can't be quiet. He's also eating chips in the corner. Is that getting picked up? Okay. <laughs> How would he know he's eating chips <laughs> and listening? I just hear chips chewing at the same time. I hear the chips, that. but I don't know if they're in the headphones or just my mouth. Checking the monitors for it. We're in my mind. Remember huh. back when we had to wear headphones? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, the sound guy still has to. Mine were fine. They were comfortable. The, 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 there was one time that I had, uh, I could feel my ears getting better. Oh my, there was one set. They were hot. They were like really like um, fermenting. I felt like <laughs> I take them off and just my lobes were sweaty. It there was, was so weird. It was, like it was really cheese. disgusting. I think it's because like they like they were um, noise canceling headphones. So what ended up happening a lot of times was like you'd hear that audible like, like a <laughs> suction. Yeah. 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 It was like, Oh, what a great podcast. And we did and it as like you heat it up, uh, heat up, it got tighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the air is thinner. Yeah. All right. So what's called? Uh, what do we want to talk about? Um, oh, the TV know. shows. What TV shows. There is a lineup of 11. Uh, well, including what's already passed, already started this season and what's coming out next season. We're looking at close to like 20 new shows that are all either And remakes. new is relative because well, they're... New on to the TV, but they're either remakes or reboots of uh, previous existing IPs. Okay, so Hollywood completely ran out of ideas and they're just rehashing what they've had before. Well, the problem is, though, I mean, to play devil's advocate, is that when you bring a new IP, they, they usually tank. You know, that's it's kind of like um. But you, but it's but I don't think it's tanking because of the show itself. Is that they're no, using no, in, uh, uh, the wrong system. They're still using the Nielsen rating system, and it doesn't. They don't use just that. They use that in conjunction with a lot of other things. They use. I don't know that. I'm just going by my own information. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm, trying I'm, to I'm making you. up rules in what's called Europe. I'm trying to inform If you. your information is going to ruin his argument, he doesn't want to hear it. Yeah. 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 But at the America. end of the day, they need people to watch it on TV so, that, they, so that the advertisers see that people are seeing these ads. I'm kind of wondering yeah. if because... TV's dying, kind of, you know? Kind of. But the, uh, look, look at what the original it. content is, though. It's on Netflix, it's on Amazon, it's on Hulu, well, well, it's it's on YouTube, there. and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 AMC has AMC has Preacher, which just started up, which I'm loving. Yeah, but again, it's one of those things where, like, AMC is, uh, AMC and HBO are the exceptions, not the norm, with stuff like Game of Thrones and, um, uh, whatever other shows, Walking Dead. <laughs> I'm I'm blanking. I don't know why. But you don't watch TV. Silicon I really Valley. don't. What happened? Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. Yeah. So, so again, these are exceptions. Not the norm to show. To well, I disagree with that. I think I think uh, that's the norm for HBO. Correct. I'm just saying it's the exception for network television as a whole. If well, you were to take a look at all of like network television, HBO and AMC kind of are the exception to what like ABC and like CW well, I, I and do as far as like how they promote their shows and whatnot. Well, I don't even think it's about a show promotion. I think what's happening is that what's called, um, and I don't think TV is dying the same way people think it is. I think what it is, is like, uh, people are picturing a quick death. I think it's going to be a slow, agonizing death. I'm not picturing that. TV's no, no. changing. It is. It's well, yeah, but I'm like, the reason why I say this is because it feels to me that executives are going, oh, shit. And they're like, what's called, what is our demographic? Our demographic is older people who are not on the internet all the time. All right, let's bring back shows that they like, that they know, and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And that's what like, I have. Yeah, and I think that's the thing going on, as opposed to creating new content and stuff like that. Yeah. And what I predict is what's going to happen is you're going to have shows, uh, you're going to have networks like Netflix, HBO, do their original content, and eventually the regular stations are going to pick those up in syndication. Let me ask you a question. What's the last new IP that's done pretty well? I don't know. I, I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, what do you mean by new IP? So a new IP for a t- television show. Well, like, for example, you're saying... Are you that, including like, adaptations? Or I no? am not. So basically, not an adaptation. So not Gotham. You know, not something that had something, some backstory to originally, like, don't go on. Don't talk about Gotham. I'm right? just saying... I, don't I, 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 I bring it up. I'm just giving you an example. Like, don't, <laughs> don't pull out Gotham, you know, because it has well, a backstory. You're the one that pulled up Gotham. No, sorry. To give an example. Um... I'm just curious. So we're not going to count Arrow, Flash, Correct. Supergirl. Because it has an existing fan base because of the history that it has. Empire. Because Empire. Yeah, that's, um, that's doing fairly well. How long has that been? I think it's the sec- the 30, just 30. finished the second season. Well, here's the thing. Is that yeah. what's called? You Again, I'm just no, throwing it out there well, like an idea. Yeah, so. I'm just uh, to respond to that. The problem with that is that you don't know if something... Very few things 
hit like gangbusters their first or second season. Yeah. So the only you would have to go back to like stuff that's been out five or six seasons, yeah. and then that doesn't qualify as new. I think so, like, Breaking Castle, Bad was probably the last show that I recall that hit from the pilot. I don't think so. I think more people got onto it afterwards. Like what's called? I, everybody was telling me about everybody I've heard about. <coughs> no, only a handful of people that I know actually watched it from the beginning. Like right. a lot of people watched it later on. Like they, it was word of mouth type of deal. No, I, I don't have read online that it had a very large pilot. Uh, I think it had a large one for AMC. Yeah, maybe I don't know. I think in, in, in proportion to AMC, I, I believe it had a large uh, oh, yeah. thing. But I mean that it's that uh, Dennis Leary had this whole thing about like he was on ABC. He had uh, three million viewers. He did horribly. He, he was on uh, FX, FX and he had two million viewers and he was doing great. Yeah. So I mean, it's a, 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 for a, I can I can see for AMC being a smaller theater as opposed to ever. They said they they had a huge uh, opening, but it might not have been ABC NBC mm -hmm. big. I think but, Breaking Bad was one of those first shows that I got into thanks to Netflix. Right. Because well, I was able to binge watch that. That's when I got into it. See, season. that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm not saying personally. I'm just saying that like it relative to the numbers that they had. I heard mm. that that Breaking Bad was a very big hit from for it. From the inception of the pilot, from I'm sorry, we, we, we don't just the launch. No, I, yeah, I'm saying I just I get it. I think it's just an AMC uh, perspective. I don't think it was like like I don't think it was like lost numbers because lost numbers were, from what I understand, huge from the beginning. How long ago was lost? Per time is almost like twelve years ago. Something like that. Yeah. No, it started maybe twelve years ago. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, like when it launched twelve years ago. I, I want to say yeah, you might be yeah. right. Wasn't that um what was the guy's name? Uh, ABC no, Fox. came up with it to the guy who. Oh, JJ. 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 Yeah. Okay, yeah. He was only a part. He only wrote like the first few ep uh, episodes, right? Then they. I think he spot wrote some stuff later. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. But I was called. But I mean, like, but the reason why I was mentioning that is because like, Big Bang Theory is, is a strong show. Uh, is it? Does anyone watch that show? Huh? Does anyone watch it so? Uh, yeah, I still do. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Um, no, I'm not being like family like, show type thing where it, yeah. everyone watches it at home. Well, they, they, if they I'm were not able, streaming, I watch it. <laughs> they were able to con get a three year contract out of it, so they're guaranteed till mm. the, uh, I think 2018 or 20, 2017. Something like that. Stuff like that. Yeah. So, I mean, like, mm. they, they must be doing well enough that, and the leads are making a million each, and two of the backups are making like three quarters of a million each per episode. But it I, seems I've like. I've watched like three episodes. Well, uh, uh, just because we're not fan, talking about first, for, yeah, first few seasons I was on board, and then like it kind of, I don't know, it was okay. Yeah, at, at some point, it felt offensive itself. to me. It did absolutely. It became one of those things. It's been running now for nine years, ten years, almost ten. Yeah. I think it's ten, the tenth season now. Or six, they're going into the tenth season. Two thousand seven is when it started. But that's my point: is the yeah. fact that you cannot say what's a success until after it's been running a little while. There are very few shows. That you can say, because a lot of shows have uh, like a good start off and sometimes pretty they're off. Mm -hmm. So you can't say those are good shows and stuff like that. So, like, um, that's what I'm saying. You need somebody that's been on for a couple of years before you can say it, it's a good show, per se. Like, uh, what was it? Well, Gotham probably had great numbers, and I don't think that's a good show. The first episode probably had great numbers. I yeah, think it's a fantastic that show. show huh? I haven't watched an episode, but I think it's a fantastic show. I saw the first episode. It was didn't do anything for me. I fought through a season and a half, but. <laughs> you gave up. What's your turning point? I don't mind. We can put spoilers or whatever. Uh, but for you, fuck it. Mister Freeze shows up in right. Gotham. I mean, Bruce Wayne is like eleven years old, twelve years old, and Mister Freeze shows up. Like why? No, why? actually, as Mister Freeze, not Victor Freeze. Yeah, he had oh, a okay. cold gun and everything. Oh wow. Was the, the, the so I guess they basically just said like we're taking the idea and just going a tangent from the regular universe. We're just gonna do all of Batman without Batman. Yeah. You know, cause like. Krypton is coming soon. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. You that's know, because they're going to show us about the Kryptonians 100 years before Superman. Because all we really want is Superman, but we won't give that to us. I think it might be an interesting, like, political thriller show. I like, don't care. Well, that's said they did. I just, I just no, don't I'm just care. saying, yeah. like, if you were to take that kind of premise and just, like, yeah, we know Superman will eventually come, but if you just go fucking left turn and just don't even focus on that fact well, that they have actually cast Superman for the Supergirl show yes oh yeah so yeah I'm happy about that. coming to TV yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. part of Supergirl but what's called yeah, what's the guy he's like some kid from like he's uh, from Teen Wolf Teen Wolf the yeah. MTV show but I don't think he was the Teen Wolf I don't know I, I, I don't watch I the don't show I don't know anything about Teen Wolf <laughs> yeah I was gonna say I just know the guys from Teen Wolf that's you know, all the, I'm saying the only reason why I, I don't know I feel like Eric was trying to trap you I don't think this guy's like that was a trap aha you do watch he rejected that really quickly I mean, <laughs> I understand. No, no, I, you know what? 
I've seen the pictures of the guy from mm-hmm. Teen Wolf in the back of comic books a bunch of times, so I know what he looks like, and I know what this guy looks like, and for all I know, it, puberty actually fucking eventually hit him. <laughs> oh, like, um, I just saw a picture of um, Modern Family. I used to watch the show on and off, right? right. And then uh, I kind of didn't watch, like, the last few seasons. The daughter is now 18, is quite lovely yeah. to put it out there. It's like, wow, I'm just going to leave it like that, that's all. Sure. I have no idea what you're talking about. True. I don't watch the show. Oh, you don't? Oh, okay. Oh. The uh, I believe she's 19 now, the actress who plays her, who plays the daughter. Winters, uh, I think her last name is. Winters? Mm-hmm. If you so. say so. Well, I she's very attractive. She uh, blossomed very nicely. Mm-hmm. You know, she started off her, you know, plain, and I think she was a plain one of the two sisters, and I think she's actually much more attractive than the other sister. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right, good talk. Yeah, I'm glad right. we went that way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you brought it up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I gotta just slap it down. All right, next topic. <laughs> no problem. Good. Moving on. Moving on with the creepy old man uh, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it felt a little creepy. Like, well, she's eighteen. She's quite lovely, and I'm. Well, all right. Well, I mean, she's she's legal either now. Either, <laughs> either go full creepy age. or just don't. don't the fact that you're age was a little bit like. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, no, I believe she is. You know. What's going on? Like, like, oh, I should have mentioned her age, but that would probably... No, 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 just the way you would think... No, it's okay, I just want to know how to be creepier next time. <laughs> <laughs> like, so the statute of limitations... When you say she's 18, you go, finally. That makes it creepier. <laughs> <laughs> if I have gone, like, oh, too oh, old, you know? Time. <laughs> if I have gone, like, oh, man, too old, never mind, mind. let's dial it back, you know? Where is that from? That was from in a movie, where it was called. The guy goes, you know she's 16, and he goes, finally. I was like, what? Oh, that was that. I do know that scene. Because I know it was Casey Affleck. It was Drowning Mona. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna... It was what? There was a movie Mona. called Drowning Mona. Never Ooh. seen it. It was a weird movie because everybody drove Yugos. Yeah. So the very funny thing about that was the movie starts off and it has a title um, title plate where it says, in the year 1980, whatever, whatever year, Yugo company decided to ship all of their cars to this town, blah, blah, for... It was like a promotional For a promotional reason. That but that's a story familiar. for another time. Yeah. And that's it! <laughs> and that's it! And they never even bring it They didn't bring it in. So but it was Yugos. Even the cop cars are Yugo. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And I remember watching... Was the, that even true or just made I have, up for I don't think movie? so. That, that's that's I a think curious it, thing. I think it was just for the movie. I think it was okay. just... And it was a kind of funny thing if you think about it, like you have a... A relatively normal film going on, but just there's one thing that everyone's driving you goes, and you just have this one title plate to just explain it away. I'm, I'm picturing the studio getting a deal on all those Yugos well, and no, then just actually, kind of no, throwing no, in. That was one of the funny things I remember. I mean, Yugo was in, dead at this point. Wasn't yeah, it? that's the thing. I remember listening to. Oh, this was back in the day when like we used to get DVDs all the time. They're like, oh, well, we watched this a million times. Let's put a what's called uh, watch the director's commentary stuff like that. I remember somewhere along the lines they said that. They had to hunt down Yugos to get oh, really? This was actually a... Wow, okay. That's, okay, that's, that's that, that in to itself a, is... I think it's something that the writer put in just thought it was funny and then yeah. the studio was like, all right, why not? It's it's um, it's um a fun enough movie. I mean, I dug I mean, it. It's not a great movie, but yeah. it's, it's, so, it's, so it's, it's a good more. hour and a half. It's like you don't feel like you wasted your time watching it. I admire movie. that dedication, though. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was interesting as hell. Like that. <laughs> and just to go off on a tangent for a second, when you were talking about watching DVDs, because we don't really buy mm-hmm. DVDs all that much anymore. I mean, we still do, not but as not as, I as tend to, much. Well, what I tend to do is I tend to buy Blu-rays if they're CGI heavy. Okay. That's, that's basically my criteria. Because there was depends, a time because where... Because CGI comes off a little weird at the, at, on uh, Blu-ray, on like a nice TV. It comes up like Transformers, Dark of the Moon. You could really tell, like, the CGI on some of those scenes. Yeah, but I'm not like, sure I would want to watch... I don't think watching a streaming would necessarily be better. No, I'm just saying that, like, it's one of those things where, like, y- you can tell the quality is not great for certain CG scenes. That's all, you know, mm-hmm. like, you know, streaming is the least of problems, I guess, at that point, you know? But because I mention it, is is the reason why I mention it is that, as Eric said before, you watch the movie, then you watch... Right after, it is what I used to do, you yeah. know, get the DVD, watch the movie just straight through, then watch it with the commentary. And if there are more commentaries, you might even watch it a third time. I don't know if you guys I've done that. I, mean, I used to do that back when I was like, you know, first got a DVD player and I only had like about four five D- movies. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, I one did of the that. D- DVDs I had was like, I think, Clerks and Mole Rats, and I would love, and I know the commentaries were sometimes better than the actual movie. Mm-hmm. So those are things. What is a really good commentary is Ben Affleck's commentary on Armageddon, because he basically just tears into the story of Armageddon and goes like, why are they trading rock drillers to be astronauts? Why not trade astronauts to be um, rock drillers? 
And I asked Michael Bay, does Michael Bay, shut the fuck up. You don't know cinema. <laughs> you know, I think the bigger question is, why'd you buy Transformers 3 on Blu-ray? Um, because I don't like Transformers and I don't know. And, and he likes alcohol and he has an Amazon account? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> no, I guess I bad decisions so. happen sometimes. I don't yeah. think, that, that wasn't a drunk purchase. I bought that thing and it's like... But there are drunk purchases. Oh, absolutely, for sure. I are like, there I, blind <coughs> drunk purchases where... Xbox One. Yep. Okay. I like how he's wait, defending wait, wait. this as not a blind drunk. Purchase. Yeah, I found out the next day that I did it. <laughs> <laughs> you told this story oh, so before. Oh, you found out the next yeah. day. It's not like you found out a couple of weeks later when it shows up. Because that's um, funny. I've, I've, I've heard people tell stories like I've that. I've had that happen. It was like I gave nothing, myself a present nothing, in the future. There's nothing exciting yeah. about it, though. It was like... Oh, I need to get a like, shake weight. I need to, yeah, right. <laughs> man. Future Mark's gonna love this. <laughs> no, like Olivia's well, mad at me, so I'm getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's like okay, agent, agent, that's left hand, right hands on the mouse. Um, no, so like for me, like it would always be like a like a stupid thing where like I'm like, oh, I'm gonna need like an Allen wrench, so I'll buy that, not realizing like why I needed it. So like I'll get like a two <laughs> and then a week later, a project shows up that needs. <laughs> No, it's just one of those things where, like, at the time while I'm drunk and whatever, it's like, oh, shit, I need to fix this. So I'll buy what I need to fix it. But then I'm sober, like, in three days. I'm like, why the fuck did I need this? So that kind of thing. I bet you didn't know what you You forgot what you you broke. Yeah, Yeah, that has happened. I've definitely done that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but nothing really, like, too exciting where, like, I bought, like, I don't know. I, I like like a like a couch or something like that, you know, like uh, like a weight set or anything. But like I that. don't see a couch being a impulse buy. I know, but that's what I'm saying. There's nothing exciting that I've really done for stuff like that. However, I have been blackout drunk and bought stuff and like the Xbox One. I find out the next day, like, oh shit. Yeah, right, well, I'm gonna buy it anyway, I guess. You know. So. <laughs> now, are you gonna buy the new Xbox One? Only if I get a 4K TV. Um, it's the only reason that it will justify it because. It's a nice price point there, I will say that, for just for a Blu-ray player alone. Two ninety nine? It's two ninety nine starting yeah. out. So for like the cheapest blue high def Blu-ray player is three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. So it's a hundred dollars cheaper for a Blu-ray player alone. So high def Blu-ray player. That's, that's so, what's selling me on. And what's the four K T V? Um the, what Jay has. What Jay has. Okay. Yeah, so it's st- so standard anyone. Um Where you get, we can all throw a bunch of numbers at you, but like it's instead of ten eighty P it's like Four times as many pixels as yeah. a 1080p TV. Yeah. Do you know what like 1080p and 720p or that what that stuff means? Nope. Yeah, you should have asked this question. Yeah, then just. I just in case anyone watching TV. wants to send Mark a TV. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Right. All right. You know they want the sponsor. We, we don't have to go down this rabbit hole. It's an issue of resolution. Okay. 4K better resolution. Okay. There. Anything else? We'll lose him. <laughs> I think that was my dad. <laughs> no, no, I understand that. It's just it's funny. It's like some of the iPads are having these higher resolutions to the point like where it's like... display and whatnot. Retina display, which our eyes really can't tell the difference, but they're giving that mm. to us now. But you can at the distance you're looking at an iPad. Yeah. At a distance? With okay. the TV, it gets a little more complicated. You need a bigger one, and you need to be sitting closer to it. And... Uh, or farther, depending on how big it is and whatnot. To really right. Like... Ain't too close, you like looking at the <laughs> <laughs> fucking I hate watching the movies like that. <laughs> yeah, right. But it depends on the New York apartment you have. You may only have that. Yeah. Mounted right. above your bed. Right. So um, I'm kind of, I want to get a 4K TV, but when I do, then I'll get a, the new Xbox One. Which, I, the one thing is, I'll say, I don't like that it's white. I like that it's a white uh, Xbox One. What's wrong with white? What? What's wrong with white? Uh, you have ages, to ask? You of all people should know. It ages badly. Most times, like the Xbox 360s, they tend to get gray. They get that yellowish color sometimes. You I know don't Black like, don't craft the character. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well just fucking take a drill to it and just like make holes with that. No, um, yeah, I just don't like how it, the white consoles age. Like my Dreamcast looks it looks a lot dingier than like mm. the black Xbox 360 I have. That's looks cleaner. It looks it's easier to maintain. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's the only reason. Also, I don't like how it looks like in my entertainment center. Like you know, like. It, it's true. I like that. Like everything you know, else is black on the entertainment. Yeah, center. exactly. It's in like really white, like this, like like this weird tooth in the corner. Doesn't go together. Like, I gotta get everything in white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's all. It's just it's aesthetics. That's really all it comes down to. See, that that's not. I I understand what you're saying, but like my mind. It's not your problem. Yeah, it's not a problem. Yeah, it's not yeah. a problem. Like, and it's like a problem you don't relate to. So yeah, yeah, I really. Speaking of a problem that I'm pretty certain no one can relate to. Um, I drink a lot of water at work, so I use the bathroom at work a lot to pee. Makes right. sense. You, you haven't lost that it. That sounds yet. like <laughs> science. That, However, that sounds relatable. A, B. Uh-huh. Um, toilets are automatic flushes, so I never have to do anything. I just pee and go away. 
Don't it's conditioned hands. me. Well, I go to wash my hands. Okay, because like, you I don't just wash my hand at the fucking toilet. You know? I pee and I go away. Well, I leave the toilet. You just I, disappear. I, I, I What's the <laughs> Smoke bomb. <laughs> 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 smoke bomb. I'm not there. I leave the urine. Right? <laughs> that would be great, though. It's so aesthetic. There, you just like smoke bomb. bomb. <laughs> 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 it's like, what did Tim? What did Mark? <laughs> <laughs> He just ran into the stove. Why are you doing that? I actually have a habit of sometimes washing my hands before I pee. Yeah, I like to wash my hands before I touch my dick Because you know where it's been. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the problem is, is like, so when I'm not at a urinal that's automatic flush, it's guess you what? You just walk away. I just walk away and I forget to flush, which right. has happened quite a few times where, like, at my apartment, uh, <laughs> like, I'll, like, <laughs> so, like, I'll just pee and just Now it got away. funny because if yeah. it was a public bathroom, ah, we don't yeah, care. Yeah, but now it's Wait, funny. Do you put the lid down? What? I just walk away. <laughs> you have cats? cats? You have three cats. They don't, they're not in there. They know oh? that. Okay. They some cats, know, some cats do that. That's why yeah, I think you're concerned. They don't, okay. they don't get into the toilet. Mitty, um, one of them did it once, and that was it. She's scarred for life. She doesn't go near the toilet anymore. Um, one's missing a light, so she can't hop on there. That's right. Go ahead. Let's, let's, so anyway, so the is just like, so just like pee and then leave and then wash my hands and walk out of the room. <laughs> and then like Olivia will walk in and she's like, what the fuck? Why does it smell like pee in here? And I tried to, I almost did, I almost convinced her that like, I, I've been training one of the cats to pee in here. I, I almost got it. I was, cause I had to look at her face. I was like, yeah, I read about it on the internet. God damn, I almost, I like, she's just like, no, you did it. I was like, no, I didn't. I was like, I almost had it for like a second. Like, I was trying to commit so I like how quickly you, you broke though. I was like, if she doesn't question it, yeah, exactly. I'll never have to flush it down. <laughs> Life. Yeah. You can't dream. dream. Never have to flush again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just, just wherever you want. It's not like I'm peeing and like just putting my pants on. He's putting in a circle. <laughs> Mark, we've been married for thirty years and we haven't had cats in the last twenty. Are you peeing? Oh, still the cat. It's still the cat. The ghost. That's a ghost pussy. Now if you could convince it, it's her. <laughs> No, you just used it. I did just say, I did I mean, <laughs> <laughs> near, a lot like, of wine in the house. I'm, I'm, I'd like to try and convince her of certain things. <laughs> like, um, there's a, um, a factory nearby where we live, and it's, um, um, like a, a book factory. They used to, Reader's Digest Road, they used to be where Reader's Digest was. Uh, however, when you're driving up the road, it looks kind of like an insane asylum or something like that. It looks pretty creepy, and every time you drive past it, it's always at night. And she goes, that building looks pretty creepy, like some type of like you know mental institution. And it's like, oh, you didn't know? That's actually what it did. They actually had to shut it down because of a murder that happened a few a few years ago. And I just kept going with it. She's like, no, it didn't. Like, yeah, look it up. And she looked it up like you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no, she just had to look up the address. You know, and the funny. best part about it is like, I'm not lying to you. I'm a storyteller. <laughs> <laughs> there is actually in. Staten Island, I think, a uh, insane asylum where that actually happened and stuff like that. So, oh, yeah. you, so if you had known the name and told her that she would have looked up, like and, never the, and never looked up the address because it's got one of those crazy names. I knew just like, the name. Huh? I knew the name. I, I can't oh. recall. Bellevue. No, 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 no. no. It became famous because no. of how <laughs> it became famous on how bad they treated people. There. Oh, yeah. that, that In fact, they had to close it down. Type of thing. Yeah. Like, for, it was, investigation. There was a huge thing back in the day. Yeah, uh, I only know about it because a friend of mine. Worked Most on crazy. the, well, no, that's another friend. But a friend of mine worked on like the reconstruction and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, like he was part of like the, the contract to get, to uh, get it to what's called so they can like, re gut it and repurpose it and stuff like that. Yeah. If you have any interest in horror movies, good horror movies, uh, there's one called Session Nine. Stars Session uh, Nine. Yeah, Session okay. Nine. Stars David Caruso. Oh wow. And some okay. other actors you might have seen. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and it, there's this um insane asylum in Massachusetts. It's past Boston on ninety five, mm -hmm. and it was shut down in like the mid 90s I think okay and they filmed this movie in like 2001 or so and the place was like decrepit and they actually filmed in this, this uh, abandoned yeah, asylum and it's uh, like one of the creepiest atmospheric movies wow. that I've seen um, it's since been turned into like co-ops or, or something like that but wow it's been turned into what? co-ops co -ops or condominiums or something but yeah. Um, yeah 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 it's true <laughs> huh did they tear yeah, it down or just restructure it? Probably the respected. actual main building is still there, that's creepy. but the grounds have been <laughs> filled with buildings. That's fucking creepy. It's pretty common, though. I know, yeah. but it's still, it's still creepy. It is, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if, if you don't care about... How did you see Poltergeist? That's what how Yeah, I mean, if you don't care about that shit... If you don't care about the laws because of the Indians... But no, this place was abandoned, and you know, it was filled with graffiti and stuff mm -hmm. from people who just... Yeah. 
And the New it's, York one it's authentic. called Willowbrook. Yeah, that's it. Willowbrook. Mm-hmm. You, did you just Google it? Nope. Just came to him in a dream? It, no, it came to me on my phone. <laughs> I just said it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm going to check the videotape when I added this. If I see you looking oh, at Oh, you going to see me do this. <laughs> It go like this, uh-huh, <laughs> and it go back. Yeah, it's like, yeah, <laughs> no no tag whatsoever, but yeah. Uh, yeah, but it was cool. From what I understand, that, that place was, like, I heard, like, <coughs> after, like, all the mistreatment and stuff like that, like, there were now homeless like, people there. Like, there laws and stuff like that that came from it. And, yeah, How they treat people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, laws like, got implemented because of that. Because of it. Yeah. Of, of what that, it, was supposed, like, it was supposed to be that fucked up. And I don't even know about it, because my mom being a teacher, who, and this is like during people. the 80s, 90s? I don't I remember the say, year. It might have been the 80s. The 80s. I, I might yeah. be remembering it wrong, but I, I want to say the 80s. Hmm. Not a, yeah. How long are we doing for uh, this? How far are we in? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Right now, this is at 32, but we've been recording for longer. Okay, so it was cool. We should yeah. go for like another 10 minutes. That's fine. I'm just All right, so idea. back to the TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. So wait a minute. Let's get some examples. What shows are actually coming out? That okay, well, some that already came out were Heroes Reborn, uh, Rush Hour. Isn't that already canceled? It's already canceled. So Rush Hour is already canceled. So it's Rush Hour. Um, X-Files came, came, came out. This came out, but that's continuing if I'm not Okay, Limitless is, I believe. I think it got picked up. Limitless. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look at that. I actually, believe season two uh, has been picked up. The first season Minority was really good. Minority Report was canceled. Yep, I mean, and, and it was pretty good. Huh? I enjoyed it. Uncle what Buck. Else? Uncle Buck's going even, on. That, no, that's yeah, out. It happened. What's it called? Uh, it's still out, as far as I'm aware. And there's a couple other that too. But then we got new ones coming up, like uh, Prison Break. Is it, I mean, a new one. There's a new Twenty Four. There is Lethal Weapon movie. Movie, um, movie, not a TV, oh, TV show. TV show, TV show, TV show. Sorry, the Little Weapon movie was being adapted. Uh, like, we have a lot of these coming up. I do think, again, I think it's uh, mm. executives being scared and looking for things that are, what they think are immediately marketable. And I don't, I think the... Marketable or nostalgia? The list is canceled. Huh? The list is canceled. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. Good show. Um, yeah. So I made it one season. Yeah. It was a good season, though. Was, I thought it was a pretty good show. Yeah. Um, Did Bradley Cooper show up on it? He was in the first episode. Yeah, he was in the first yeah, episode. Really, I mean, I loved the movie. The movie was, um... Yes. Yeah, the movie sucker punched me, I gotta be honest. Because yeah. like, I don't know if I went with you. I think I went with Fernando. But when we no, went to go it. see it... We I, just saw, like, I saw it after the series. I saw it in theater. I saw like, it on I, We both just were like... It was more like one of those things, it was a thing to do, rather than like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Any real interest in the movie, yeah, just we like, yeah, let's like, play. Holy shit, this is awesome. So I, I want pills. <laughs> Give me drugs. So the crazy thing about the movie Limitless, so I saw that on home, and um, I was off of work because I just had surgery in my eyes. So I was off for like a few weeks. So I was like, let me watch a movie. I was just watching TV. So I could actually start to see again and like be mm-hmm. okay to like function. So I watched Limitless, and the way Limitless starts is basically this weird panning scene where it just goes through all of like Manhattan Mm -hmm. and the way it like tunnels in through certain perspectives it really I almost puked just because of like I just had my surgery surgery, my eyes are just starting to focus and start to get the the double bit yeah Yeah, it's coming at you in the way it's like it's not 3D per se but it's having this weird three dimensional uh, it's a movement yeah it was very um, disconcerting in the state that I was in However, after that scene, the movie was amazing. It, it took me by surprise. I thought it was really good. Yeah. And the TV show was good. It went to... Um, I was very happy that, you know, Bradley Cooper's character in the movie, they didn't basically just get a clone of him for the right, TV they show. Got they got him. someone else who is has and his own part. I like that the course. pills affected him differently. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that there was... Mm-hmm. Was from, his point, from his point of view and how, you know, they just yeah. didn't rehash the same thing. Yeah. yeah. It was good. Good show. And I did that one of the interesting things that was called, uh, they were showing how, in the movie, Bradley Cooper's overriding factor is that he's already intelligent, whereas, wh- opposed to, I don't remember this, Brian? Ryan? Brian, 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 Brian Finch. Brian Finch, his overriding factor was that he was creative. Mm-hmm. So, like, the way he envisioned everything was very creative when you look at it and stuff like that. Like, he mm-hmm. had, he would do origami, he would make puppets, he would do all these crazy things and stuff like right. that. I thought that was an interesting take. It's not, it's not only did it enhance your intelligence, but also enhance certain traits of yours. I know it was real well done. Yeah. Anyway, um, so what else have we got that's coming out this this season? Well, what's called? Those are the ones I remember. Oh, there's another one. Uh, time after time, was that the name of it? That was the name that was of the movie. movie. Yeah, that's the movie. That's they're doing a show about that, which is basically who is? I was you know CBS. Mm-hmm. I think. 
um, Jules Verne or H.G. Wells or somebody like that. H.G. No, Wells H. wrote H. Time, time Machine. Time. Okay, so then H.G. Wells has actually built a time machine. Uh, Jack the Ripper fi- finds the time machine, goes into the future, and continues what he's doing. That was the movie, and now they're doing a TV show based mm-hmm. on that. And this was, I want to say, I always get him confused. It was either Roddy McDowell or Malcolm McDowell. It wasn't the original. It was Malcolm. Huh? Malcolm McDowell. Malcolm McDowell, yeah. The one, the one new show that um, I'm mixed on is Prison Break. So, and the reason so is it a new show or continuing? It's continuing from the original series that was on in the early to mid-2000s, I believe. Yeah. And um, I think it ran for four seasons. And, you know, spoiler alert, I'll, I'll let everyone know, the lead character dies at the end of the series. So, you know, they're starting up the new show about, I guess, ten years later after the fact, I guess. I guess. So, yeah. I'm assuming. And he's back, and he's just been missing for ten years. Like, it's just kind of along the line. Yeah. I don't know. It feels kind of. He was in a coma. Well, his I think money he, grab. I think, I think he was, grab. What? Well, yeah. yeah well, however, I did meet Robert Nepper. Um, the uh, one of the mention. actors in there. The yeah. guy who played T-Bag. The guy who played T-Bag. Who was the guy who died? Was it um? Wentworth was it Captain Miller. Cold or was it Heat Wave? Captain Cold. Captain Cold. Okay. Wentworth Miller. Which is really weird to me. The fact that it was called. Uh, that show's still going on. Isn't that it? show's still going on, but then they have this show going but on. But they killed uh, spoilers. Yeah, it's a spoiler. Yeah. yeah. You can stop there? Okay. <laughs> and, well, I, I don't know if you guys actually care. watched. I don't care. You I can believe come. they killed him too. Spoiler. Like, whatever. He's dead, but the other one's alive. But the other one's alive. And, and the, the other one's dead for a little while. And they're both in there. <laughs> and they're, um, bo- they're both on that show. He's time traveling, so like, what's called? I don't know. But no, Wentworth Miller signed the contract with the CW for those shows, so he's going to be back somehow. Mm. Okay. So the contract's been signed, so spoiler. There. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that better? Huh? They got better. So I gotta like tell you right now, dead. Legends of Tomorrow is not that great a show. It's not that great a show. It enjoy. really is surviving on, for me on the basis of I have long ride to uh, to work and I watch it on the phone, my phone. Um, it's the most interesting thing to me happened at the end of the series, and that was because they introduced a character from another comic book, and he just so, at the so very end. Is the show done? Like, no, no, I no, 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 it's coming back. back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, you said end of series, so I wasn't sorry. I'm sorry, I meant no, the end, end of the season. season. No, no, I, I, yeah, okay. Sorry, my mistake. It. No, it's okay, I just wanted to make sure um, I answered correctly. And, but, and the funny thing is, like, was, part of me was like, wait a minute, I know that character. And then the other uh, part of me was like, I, I know that actor, too, because uh, the kid from Suits. I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, I really need to know who this guy is and stuff like that. Was it, For me, it's like, like the t- tomorrow, it's giving me just enough. Yeah. To stay on, yeah. It, it's you know what it is. I my biggest issue is that when you it, they made a cartoon and they didn't make it uh, adult enough because like it's like similar to GI Joe and He Man and all that. That's stuff, a very exciting formula, a, and it also has the same villain. Mm-hmm. It's really everything is about uh, Cobra Commander or Skeletor. It's always about Vandal Savage in the entire season stuff like that. I don't feel like he was strong enough to really and he, carry. And that's the thing. I didn't feel like he was that big of a threat. That's like. I mean, you know that guy can change molecules and fire black firestorm and stuff like that. Mm. <laughs> like, and even that, and they, they they fucking come up with these reasons to take firestorm out, and you know it's like you know it's for the budget. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's yeah. so obvious it's, like, it's for the at budget. At first, like they can yeah. never become firestorm on the ship because they don't know if it's going to mess up the ship. And then one episode, they become firestorm on the ship and never address the fact they weren't supposed to. It was a very like Voltron form blazing sword. It's like, you know, you should have done it in the beginning. We could have ended the episode. Sometimes because you do realize that, yeah, Firestorm could have ended it. I mean, one of the most interesting things is that was called here are two people who have to be next to each other to form their power. Mm -hmm. And the first thing that they always do is like, you go on that team and you go on that team. Uh, Scooby, why are we breaking up again? <laughs> like, yeah, why? it's like, why are they doing that? Like, it doesn't make sense. Fred like, and Velma, oh, if anything bad different. happens, you know, like, you can't, you know. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> and, I mean, that was, and there was a lot of, yeah. I got, no, I understand that. It, there's a lot of, like, what was called? How's Arab been doing? Um, yeah. alright, so, here's the thing, I was like, what's called, people were complaining a lot about the last episode, and I had to rem- remind myself, Arab's never been great. The reason why I say this is the I second season. Hold on, let me explain to you why, why I, I say this. The, the beginning of the show. Was really good. The beginning of the show. Deathstroke. That was a, that was a good it. season. Deathstroke was a good villain. He was a good. He, uh, Yo, no, he was I good gotta villain. say, no. but here, here's my thing. The beginning of the show, I didn't give a damn about the character, but I wanted to know about the island. Yeah. And as the show progressed, I gave happened. no fucks about the 
the island and his flashbacks, but I want to know about the thing. But see, I feel like the second season was the perfect balance of that. Yeah. Um, Where they both worked because, together. Well, because, again, you have it was all about Deathstroke. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was a great thing. Oh, man, one of the best scenes is, like, when he shows up and they Yeah, but we're on season, what, and, like, Oh, the whole knows, episode where he's, yeah, yeah the touring the house? I <laughs> love that. Four, that was a good episode. Huh? What season are we on right four. now? Four. This was four. Okay, so that was cool. So we've had one good season out of three. Oh, yeah, I'm not defending the show. I'm just saying that I think so, that was a great season. Yeah, yeah. But, that, but as far as these things go. Yeah. Um, but that's my thing. Take what it is kind it's of thing, never yeah. been, It's never been, like... I think Flash has consistently been a good show throughout. So so the reason why I ask about um, how Arrow's been is because... Because you follow Reddit? Because <laughs> of, exactly. Because you I'm follow Re- the trolls on the internet. <laughs> because on Reddit, for those who don't know, um, the Arrow subreddit, basically, <laughs> after the last episode... Revolted. The, a subreddit basically said... Fuck this! We're <laughs> out. I just said we will no longer talk about Arrow. We will only discuss Daredevil, the Netflix series, because Daredevil was, is a better Arrow than Arrow is. <laughs> so they changed the subreddit of like Arrow. So it had the regular banner for like Arrow, and then it like a red line over it. It says Daredevil, the Netflix series, and then they just started posting about Daredevil on that subreddit for like a good wow. two weeks. Yeah, yeah. I've been seeing mimes that were like saying, I don't know if it. it, it Actually said, "Fuck Arrow" or "Fuck Felicity." What? I don't know what's going on either. Oh, yeah. What but apparently see? says, "I don't know." I wasn't listening. I was just talking. <laughs> no, I said, "What did you see?" You were seeing these things on the internet. What memes? Oh, okay, because that's what you said before. <laughs> you said <laughs> mimes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, I saw vibes on the internet that said fuck yeah. Arrow. I'm like, they said that? They're not really good vibes. <laughs> Those guys suck. <laughs> would you like a beer? No, I'm good. I would. I would love one. Who do you want? Oh, you want a uh, summer shandy? Yeah, let me get some shandy. Uh, if the orange shoulders are cold, I'll take one. Oh, all the stuff's cold. I got it out of the fridge. Okay. But uh, what's cold? Um, do me a favor. Grab one of those batteries on the way back. Yes. <laughs> He was on the air freshener. He looked so confused when you said batteries. Because all you see is air freshener, air freshener, and (laughs) pill bottle. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I think it's interesting that what's called, uh, they reacted so (laughs) viscerally to it. it. I was like, it's just a bad episode. I mean, I I think the guy who posted it, though, is fucking hysterical. The guy who posted it. It's a bad episode, but it was kind of a fuck you because everyone hates Felicity. And they said, you know what? We're going to get rid of everyone else. But, but Felicity's staying. Yeah. And and she even says in the, in the episode, I'm not going anywhere. Like like it's yeah. personally to the fans. You know, it's that's yeah. how and it came the, across. The, the, so, the so memes are. I didn't realize people hated are, Felicity. Yeah. Yeah. She's so not the well memes are the fuck Felicity, and they're like giving her the finger. It just pictures people yeah. uh, doing that. I also heard that like basically it was like the, the guy who posted. I didn't. I have not seen it, but I'm not like I feel like I'm not missing much. Um, the guy basically said like this is um, the breaking point. Like basically. He's been following the show so much, and then by the time this final episode came, he's just kind of like, are you serious? Like, just like, that's it, I'm done. I'm out, kind of thing. Kind of, like, I'm assuming kind of like how you were with Gotham. You know? That, this, um, that's how this guy reacted, I should say. Yeah. Kind of. But it'd be different, yeah. because but I was he always wasn't in love with Gotham, with Gotham from the beginning. No, fair enough, yeah. Uh, it's not like Gotham let me down. Uh, was, if you go back to like the original podcast or something like that, we thought it was a stupid idea for the get-go. Like that. No, Gotham. Gotham. Oh yeah, I yeah. yeah. It's like what's called. Um, my initial thing was when they first said that they wanted to do Gotham and with uh, the Young Adventures of Jim and I was like, all right, that can be kind of cool. It made like and, a and, they ne- and they never mentioned initially, never mentioned anything about Bruce Wayne. Yeah. And then they said, well, they've casted Bruce Wayne. I'm like, mm-hmm. that. Yeah. They have a connection now. Like yeah. in my mind, <laughs> that was going to be a thing. You can actually fun. follow in our podcast how we got. Not only that, but you could also follow in Kevin Smith's podcast his idea for a Gotham show, and all of a sudden, everything that Gotham was supposed to be wasn't anymore. <laughs> it yeah. kind of became an adaptation of a podcast idea. I did. I, I did. I, know, I like I said. I only saw the first episode of Gotham. However, I did see this really funny um, thread or comment on uh, Reddit. And it basically was saying, like, my emotional status over Gotham from inception to, like, I think uh, somewhere in, like, the second season. And it basically said, like, all right, hear about Gotham. You know, Young Adventures of Jim Gordon. Wow, what a great idea. Maybe they could do, like, a nice crime drama story and just have it set in the world of Batman, in the Batman universe. Cool. Um, be on Fox. Why not CW? You already got a world. All right, no problem. Um, they already cast a Batman. Why the fuck did they cast Batman? It's about Jim Gordon. And, like, it just kept on going this whole trail. And it's something about, like, um... 
they showed, um, I think it was like they showed the penguin, and it's like... And he was just like, are you fucking kidding me? And something like, like, get the fuck out of here! Yeah, because like, that's how... Because the problem is, he said, like, all these people are gonna be, like, geriatric villains, you know, like... Yeah, I'm beginning to think Batman isn't that great. He's just younger than everybody. <laughs> yeah, 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 just like, Batman is <laughs> just doing this whole thing. Like, <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna hate the newest news that I saw that the... Because they had already shown us a young Catwoman... Mm-hmm. Who's friends with a oh, young Kyle. Poison Ivy? I do not know what happened in the series, but it seems like they're saying Poison Ivy's coming back, and she's been aged like nine years or something. That's great. Yeah. Is that so? I don't know if she was supposed to have died, and then she comes back to life, and now she's an older person, an older woman. Because I guess they're going to try to sex up the show now. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Fuck your story. I don't give a shit. No, that show sucks. I, that's insane. what I heard Jay say. No, I understand. White people. I'm in the same <laughs> position with Krypton. I don't give a shit. They fucking, did, they fucking did Asriel. Oh really? What? Yeah, they did Asriel. Wait, wait, did you watch that? No, I just oh. saw pictures on the comic. He hates it so much he does follow what's going <laughs> on. <laughs> in the show. Not watch that. He doesn't watch the show. He follows the headlines for the I'm show. I'm curious if you follow the hate. I saw it posting on the internet over that show. I um, watched the show just strange. so I just hate it. It had something to do with it, but... That's too soft. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think no, it's BD they... Wong that played Hugo yes, Strange. Yes, BD Wong played Hugo Strange. It's a shame. Uh, I like BD Wong. BD Wong. <laughs> I do. I, just, I also like just his name. He's a good actor, but I love his name. BD Wong. I also have a confession to make. I watched, I watched a, 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 a kid's cartoon that I actually enjoyed. Which one? Miraculous Ladybug. Oh. It's a French cartoon. It's for girls. Which is okay. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not like Sailor Moon for girls. And it's got, but it's it's um, okay, it's very well done. It's very colorful. It's no, my it's no My Little Pony. <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. I mean, it's not. <laughs> I mean, whatever. But it has great character designs. It's it, a strong female character. It's, oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Speaking of um, something that was very uh, good animation, um, Olivia has been watching me play a lot of Overwatch recently. Um, and so she asked me a lot of, about it, and I was like, well, it, honestly, it's like, you know, it's this type of game, this and the other thing. And, you know, I said, script, I'm just going to put on, like, the shorts that Blizzard put out. Right. Like, the That's animated good. stuff and uh, the, the CGI's, rather, right. that they put out. And um, the one that I showed her um, was called Recall, which is basically... I think it, that's the first one, isn't it? No, it's not. Um, the, this one is basically showing Winston mm-hmm. and kind of like his backstory, like as a little, as a little baby gorilla. Mm-hmm. And um, the he animation... Glasses. What happened? When, when he gets the glasses, glasses yes. Um, if for people who don't know, Overwatch is a video game and there's like 20 different characters. It's just meant for like a 6v6 type of, um, objective type game, you know. It's not really like a campaign. It's just all multiplayer. Anyway. I can play it. If you start, you won't stop, so warning. Yeah. Don't play it. It gets in your blood. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> so, um, they, they showed the, uh, they showed the animation for, I could. Um, he was playing before and yeah. I was kind of getting the, uh, shakes <laughs> and I can't play. <laughs> So uh, they showed the animation. The animation was so strong for like baby Winston that Olivia started like, "Oh, he's so cute!" And started getting like really teared up about the whole interaction. <laughs> it's very well done, actually. All of their um, shorts that they put on have been very well done. It was interesting. I watched a YouTube video where they said that um, I guess some guy thinks he's the moral police for video games, and he was basically saying, "Is uh, Overwatch racially insensitive with the characters of uh, Hanzo and?" Genji? Genji. Because apparently they reversed the names. Like, if you looked at the... There's a famous Hanzo and there's a famous Genji, mm-hmm. something like that. And if you looked at their names, they seemed like they got them swapped. Because Hanzo's the more attractive one, Genji's ugly and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it's, But then the, he goes... But if you go do even more research, you realize these are characters that have gone through a transformation. Like, they based them on the original s- stories. Mm-hmm. And then something happened. Mm-hmm. And now they're the characters who, who they are now. But it was, it was an interesting thing that Blizzard would even go that far. They would, they would make sure that they, they went and took mythical characters from Japan, mm-hmm. uh, legendary characters from Japan, and they basically said, what is their backstory? All right, let's start that with that start starting there. point. And then they added their own um, Overwatch twist, but mm-hmm. they, apparently they're very accurate to like what's called. Like, their stories parallel the actual maps and stuff like that. It's just that because they went through these transformations, it looks like they reversed them. But so in research to try to tear something down, the guy found that... These guys were better. all white. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. One thing about Overwatch is that you, if you don't, you know, get into this supplemental material, you won't understand anything. Well, I mean, you don't need to really, you don't need and to, that's, that's, but you won't get any backstory what did you from the like game it? itself. One thing I love about Overwatch I'm is... I'm not saying it's a horrible thing. No, no. I'm not... 
my thing is that one of the things I love about Overwatch is that they told you from the get-go what you're getting into. They said, it's a 6v6 game, there is no death match, it's all objective-based, there is no campaign mode, you're just playing a game to the shit on your friends. And because I was told that, when I bought it, it wasn't a surprise. Like, um, certain other games, they're like, what's called, it's going to be an immersive environment where you're going to have all of this epic storytelling and something, and you get in there, it's like, there's really not much storytelling. Well, I don't, think, I don't think Titanfall oversold itself like that. Um... <laughs> It was just not. Well, I wasn't. Um, I was. The problem I had with Titanfall is that they advertise a campaign mode, and a campaign mode to me is not what I would consider a campaign. No. That's no. the problem I had. That was the problem I did have. You know, until I found out that the campaign was, the campaign's just six v six, with just a little bit of a story going on really quickly on the bottom, and no one has time to pay attention to that, sure. while you're in the middle of like I, like I actually played the campaign twice. Just to try and, and the second time I actively try to pay attention, and it's like you can't, you got you're already in the middle of a fray trying to like you know. I know a planet blows up. That's all I know. Yeah, and even one that, planet blows up. That's all I planet played. Blows the, up. Planet yeah, planet blows up. Yeah, exactly. And that, that, was, that was kind of my problem with it. You know, um, I will say, however, that like it took too long for certain things for Titanfall to come out, like the um, the defense horde mode type thing. That should have been out like around launch, or at least like within the first month. That didn't come out. Six months? Yeah, it was about yeah, six it months. Was while, yeah. It was a while down the line. Custom games took a while to come out. Yeah. Custom yeah. So there's a lot of things considering all you are at 6v6. Yeah. You know, I, I agree. I, I totally yeah. agree. All right. Uh, I think we're at about time, so let's call. We're going to wrap it up? Yeah. All right, let's wrap it up. All right, all right let's then. Wrap it up. So for at the eight spot, I'm uh, at the eight spot podcast, I'm Wilson. I'm Jay. I'm Eric. I'm Mark. Yo. <laughs> we're out. Good night. We are now starting a Patreon account where you'll get extra items that we are posting. Yeah, you'll get uh, advanced copies of comics. You'll get digital versions of comics that we've already put out. You'll get early access to vi videos. Videos that'll have behind the scenes of us making comics, making podcasts, tips, uh, um, convention information, all convention kinds of stuff. info, and uh, some freebies here and there. Uh, we'll also be giving nice shirts. Not necessarily this design. Maybe this design. We'll have a bunch of different designs that we've been working on. Maybe even that shirt. You can take it right off his body. You know, if, if someone requests it, I'll give it to them. But it's really large and smells like a dope So go to the <laughs> link below and uh, help us out. Take off his shirt. <laughs> All right. Nobody wants to see the stuff we do the <laughs> And if you send 10 bucks, he'll put the shirt back on. This is yours. <laughs> you earned it. <laughs> <laughs>